What's up, y'all? It's your boy C. Dot representing Long Money Productions, coming back with another video. In this video, I just want to explain how to chop samples in Ableton Live using the MPC without it being hooked up to your computer. The first thing we got to do is set up our Akai Network MIDI. Let's type it in right here. And now, whatever device you're using, make sure you got it highlighted and selected right here. And uh, whenever you getting rid of this, make sure you press the yellow button and minimize it, but don't close it because you got to leave it open so it'll stay connected. On your MPC, you got to go to your uh, menu right here and go to the preferences, MIDI sync. Make sure you got that remote sync and track check right there. Just make sure that's on. In Ableton, just make sure you go to preferences, Hit MIDI right here, and make sure you got a Kai Force MPC chip right there. And um, make sure you have a Kai Network MIDI chip for input and output up there. I also got the DAW chip, a Kai Network DAW chip for input and output also. So now whenever we drag in a sample, we can use the MPC's pass to chop it up inside of Ableton. I'm gonna drag in a sample from Splash right quick. So that's the sample we're gonna be working with. Simpler. We're gonna drag the sample into simpler so we can chop it up. Also need to open up this Max for Live plugin. It's called uh, AZ Labs right here. Double click that, and uh, we're gonna uh, slice it right here. Click on slice and uh, click this manual change from, from transient to manual right here. So now. Whenever we have this pad slice, pad slicing check in AZ Labs, we'll be able to chop it up in the MPC. First, you gotta make sure you cut on your MIDI sync right here and change the MIDI port to remote so you can control the sounds in Ableton with your MPC. Just like when you lazy chop on the MPC, whenever I press the next pad, it's gonna create a slice in the Ableton. So check it out. So we got our chops just like that. If I want to go in and zoom in a little bit, I can adjust it however I need to. And the thing I like about Ableton is we can um, go to Complex Pro and warp it, turn your formats down, and now we can uh, transpose it to whatever pitch we want it to be in. you want to do with it then. I hope this video could help somebody that's struggling with their chopping, chopping process or anybody that's having problems finding a different workflow using the MPC and Ableton. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more. Peace out.